So obesity is, well, everyone knows what obesity is, it's like having an unhealthy amount of weight uh, in the form of fat. And fat is an energy storage organ, so it's basically having more energy stored in your body than you need. Yeah, so um, the sort of average body mass index that we operate on is, I think, 40 kilograms per meter squared. So this will be someone who's uh, maybe 19, average male height, and maybe 19 or 20 stone. So that's the average pe person we would operate on. Yeah. Those people are going to have a life expectancy, if we don't operate on them, of uh, seven years less than someone of, of normal weight. Uh, so bariatric surgery is this type of surgery where uh, we affect the stomach and the small bowel uh, to cause weight loss. Um, so for instance, the most common operation is called the sleeve gastrectomy, where we actually remove two thirds of the stomach. And we do it through little cuts. So the, the instruments are about as wide as this pen. So little five millimeter cuts just in the upper abdomen. So it's not too painful. It's under anesthetic, takes about an hour. And we take the stomach, which is about as big as a melon beforehand, and we remove literally two thirds of it. So it's like a tube afterwards, about this wide and this long. So it's like a banana shape. Uh, part of the stomach that we remove has got this appetite secreting hormone. So that causes the appetite, but that is removed. So you lose weight because your stomach is small, but you don't get that rebound appetite. So it just makes it easy. It makes the body want to be for instance, from 20 stone, it just wants to be 12, 13 stone. So if we say the average patient is about 20 stone, they will go down to around about 12 stone afterwards. So they're not going to become skinny, but they'll become uh, maybe probably slightly overweight on average. There's a 75% genetic um, predisposition to obesity. So if, if you're from a big family, you're more likely to suffer with obesity. If you're from a slim family, you probably won't suffer with obesity, you can eat what you like. You, know? uh, you can claim to be like a fit, but actually it's just you're naturally sort of um, slim. So if you come to any clinics afterwards, all of the patients, are, their lives are transformed, or 99% of the patients, their lives are transformed. They've been fighting this condition that no one understands for years. Certainly they've had a pretty simple operation, uh, and yeah, their lives are transformed. And we go all the way down to adolescent patients, so, uh, children that are 16, you, know, you can do an operation on them and they've got a new life in front of them. Instead of an obese life, they've got like a healthy weight life. So that's the main one. Uh, but there is a gastric bypass as well where the stomach is, so the stomach is that big, it's separated into a small upper bit and the, the lower bit is bypassed so the, the food doesn't see it. And you hook up a, a bit of the small bowel onto the stomach pouch. So the food goes into the stomach pouch and then enters straight into the bowel. Okay. And that has, again, a profound effect on the hormones messaging from the, from the stomach to the brain. So it switches off totally the, um, the appetite in the brain. You're at risk in the long term of getting a vitamin deficiency, so you have to take a vitamin tablet and a calcium tablet every day okay. for the rest of your life. That's pretty much the only disadvantage. Only people with like the extreme of obesity, who've got leptin resistance, should consider surgery if they want it. It's pretty safe, it's very effective. Diets definitely, low calorie, calorie restricting diets definitely don't even consider. But if you're overweight and you're worried that you're gonna become obese, the best thing to do is to avoid eating sugar and sort of Western processed type foods. You know, Anything with sugar, wheat, vegetable oil, if you chuck those away, anything in a packet, chuck it away. Learn how to cook, eat vegetables, meat, fish, and dairy products, because that's the main basis of your food never have to go on a diet again, you'll lose weight. So what happens when you go on a diet? You calorie restrict, you get hungry, you lose a bit of weight at first, but then the body readapts, so the metabolism goes down. It's almost like you're training your body to be more metabolically efficient. So you can be on something like 1,200 calories a day for a month, you'll lose a few, a few pounds or a few kilograms at first, but then your body will go down to that only burning 1,200 kilocalories a day. Uh, so you, despite being on the diet, you plateau, your weight plateaus, it's not working anymore. You're tired and irritable from the diet um, and hungry all the time. It's not working, so you're gonna come off the diet, your weight shoots back up because your metabolism's low, and it usually shoots up to even higher than it 
start before the diet is tired. So the worst thing you can do if you're overweight is go on a diet. If, you, if you're overweight and you go on a diet, you're going to become obese. Um, I think if someone's obese and happy with their obesity, uh, it's fine. It's um, If it's causing uh, illnesses like diabetes, blood pressure, cholesterol, sleep apnea, which it can cause, um, they should be aware that in their treatments in the form of this type of surgery is going to help them. Like their diabetes will reverse, their risk of cancer in the future is going to decrease. And it's something that, you know, they they should consider. But I've got no problems. In fact, I'm happy when people who are suffering with obesity actually remain happy. But actually, in, in actual fact, most people, you know, half, half the patients are on antidepressants. Uh, it's a really misunderstood condition. The public, you know, even doctors blame obese people for being obese, but it's not that simple. It's a con it's a disease, yeah. uh, which is really difficult to get out of. If you're overweight, I would say the message would be, do not go on any type of calorie counting diet, but just learn how to cook and eat fresh ingredients. Try and get rid of sugar from the house. Probably try and give up wheat if you can, and get rid of vegetable oil, which is terrible.